Hi, I'm Mark from Alert Labs. If you've gotten a higher water bill than usual, it's possible that you have a leak. One of the most common causes of leaks is a toilet. In this short video, I'm gonna show you some of the most common causes for a running toilet and how to fix them. Let's go. The first thing you wanna do is remove the toilet lid and put it in a safe spot. Listen for leaks. I don't hear anything, but it's still possible that we could have something called a silent leak. That's usually caused when the toilet flapper valve doesn't completely close and the water from the tank leaks into the bowl. But I have a way of detecting that. Pick yourself up some food coloring and uh, drop a few drops into the toilet tank here. If there is a leak, the dye will actually leak through the toilet tank into the bowl. All you have to do is wait about 20 minutes and check on the bowl. So it's been about 20 minutes and as you can see the green food coloring leaked from the toilet tank into the bowl. That means that we probably have to replace that toilet flapper. Uh, the first step to doing that though is to turn off the water. And then you want to flush the toilet so you don't get your hands all wet. This is what the toilet flapper looks like. This is a pretty good one. It's got this bulb here. Uh, basically, if you get a universal one, they hook onto any sort of in, uh, toilet tank system. It just contains a flapper valve here, here and you're gonna hook on the hooks and attach the chain to the arm. The second type of toilet leak that I wanted to tell you about is one that's caused by a fill valve. So sometimes people set their float, that's this mechanism here, too high and that causes the, the water to fill up too high in the tank and spill over in, into the, the hole here. Uh, it's really easy to adjust, all you do is you just turn the screw and make the float uh, go down because you don't want the float too high because it wastes a lot of water when you flush. Um, these parts are really easy to replace. They only cost about 20 bucks for a pretty decent one and it's well worth the investment so you don't waste all that water. Uh, the third one uh, in terms of toilet leaks that I wanted to tell you about is one that's caused by a, um, well maybe this has happened to you, you have to jiggle the handle to make the water stop running or uh, maybe to even to make the toilet flush and that can be caused by a problem with the chain. Sometimes the chain uh, won't fully extend to allow the flapper valve to close and that's what causes the water to keep running. So you can either buy a completely new flapper valve and I showed you how to, to replace that or uh, get a new chain or sometimes the, the arm here is corroded as well and it's dipped too low so you have to really yank on the handle. So you, those are also really inexp inexpensive to replace as well. The last type of toilet leak I wanted to tell you about is one that's caused when the toilet tank itself leaks. There's actually a rubber gasket that sits between the tank and the bowl and over time that can get old and break down and the seal breaks and you end up with water on the floor. Or there are actually two bolts in here that hold the tank to the bowl and if they are loose they will also drip water onto the floor as well. Water on the floor behind the tank is usually a sign of a toilet tank leak. You can fix that by adjusting the bolts here um, with either a wrench or sometimes there are wing nuts. And when you adjust, it's important to push down on the tank and don't tighten the, the bolts too tight or you could crack the toilet, which could cause a leak. And then as far as the gasket is concerned, it's a pretty cheap part to, to replace, about $5. And you just undo the bolts inside the toilet tank, put the new gasket on and push down and re-tighten re the bolts and you're good to go. So those were some of the most common causes of running toilets. The last thing to do, of course, is to put the toilet tank lid back on. Check out alertlabs.com for more videos.